Hey there, Barriers. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm still ill, and we are going to still make Lee content because I need to pay the bills. <laughs> but we're playing Stoner with a vein and up against a very speedy Jinx Zillion composition. Lots of late game potential in the enemy bot lane, but also lots of late game potential in our bot lane, too. So, yeah. We're also running the Prestige Sona skin. What's it called again? Immortal Journey Sona. Zinnia's going to be happy with that. That's going to be a Mana Flow Band stack plus a... Stealthy stack. Thank you, Leo. Um... <coughs> yeah, because I'm ill. Because I'm ill, I'm not going to be talking as much as I usually do in my YouTube videos, but I'll try and convey what's going on and what I'm trying to do. At the start of the same phase, it's going to be... Me and Vayne will be weaker, unless they like grossly misplay. Um, so we're just going to be chilling. We're going to be relaxing in lane, scaling up, and then seeing what we can do from then. Usually when you see a Zillion support, you see um like a Hecarim on the enemy team. Like really, really fast zoomy comp. So it's not going to be too bad since there's a Rengar, but... Zillion's like underrated, I think. I think Zillion is underplayed. That is uh, ultimate if used properly. And get a lot of value. Try and help get level 2 here a little bit. I think we should be okay. So I'm using those bombs if I do get caught by a bomb on the casting minions because it denies Jinx a little bit. So I use Zidian's bomb there to take one CS away from Jinx. Oh, okay. That was rough. Took a lot of damage there. Zidian used Q, sped himself up. Did another Q. Jinx W. <coughs> We're definitely going to take it even slower than that down here. Another health potion. We're gonna have mana issues here early on. There's a rain guard down here. Okay, good. Just trying to get those gold stacks whenever I can because I can't fall behind on that. We'll say the Sidon's done a good job at actually landing his bombs. It's gonna hold back a little bit here, just in case they didn't recall. <coughs> Small chance it could be a bait. Also, plus me and Vayne don't have the best pushing power. This Vayne's lost a lot of CS in this wave and there's not really a lot going on. Rengar's top. Hmm. I think this Vayne recall timing is really, 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 really bad. And they could freeze this quite easy if they wanted to. Gonna max W. Where's the AI bot? Um, they might make a reappearance again soon in the near future. So 
not looking too great for us. And as I was writing about, like the veins, for, like the vein drew call wasn't good. I didn't like that at all, actually. So they'll hit level 6 first, not just because of the wave management, but also because of Zillion passive. The Vayne's playing very, very respectfully. Why is this minion chasing me so hard? Okay, that was an okay trade back. This man's missing way too much CS though. Like just normal CSing. She's probably missed about 5 or 6 CS just from... <coughs> Not last hitting properly in the lane. Not sure where Rengar is. Does he play Zara and Morg or just Sona and Emmy? I played Morgana yesterday for a YouTube video. Zara I play semi frequently. Nami I play quite regularly. Sona is probably the... Sona and Morgana are the two rarest out of the four that you mentioned. I think I'm okay, but this vein has to help me here. Okay, I just have to recall. Yeah, the, that's happened a couple of times where it's like I've gone in, but... Vein just didn't move up with me. Sped up the uh, the vein there. I do have some in a heal, but Jinx is six. Yeah, Jinx no ulti. I think they know. They knew. Didn't get an assist. That was very forced. Lucky that Zillion wasn't around still. I mean, this wave is. I mean, we can't push this in that much. I have only one point in Q. I'm already kind of screwed here, I think. She hasn't got mana for Condemn. <clears throat> Fizz is under the turret as well. Shouldn't have stayed for that wave to push in. Am I feeling better today? Marge in name. Maybe. So, Rengar Flash. Okay, well, they got the dragon, but at least we got to trade something back at least. I think my E, and I'm gonna go sure it is, it should help counter the zillion speed up a little bit. 
Kind of get wads here, which is nice. Bane's trying to deny stuff away, but... Yeah, I don't want to be down here too long, to be honest. Just give Vayne a W tap there, just so I can get another passive stack. <clears throat> Enemy bot lane should be able to pick up a plate here. Never be afraid to listen. They'll probably get two plates. And they're not going to greed for it. Okay. I guess they see mid lane missing, so they backed off, thinking that they could be rotating down bot. I think the key thing is going to be trying to ult Zillion before he ulties someone to protect. If that makes sense. Don't know. I don't like the way that Vayne plays because she's playing like behind me, but I need to be the one behind her if that makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, Zidane's now mid. Seems to be going okay mid. Silas seems to be smurfing. Why did she... she tried to ward the tri-brush there or something? Not sure what that was about. There's a little bit of chip damage there. Um, if we can get a little bit more going on, maybe I could... ...look at doing like a flash ulti at some point. But me and the Vayne would have to be on the save. same kind of thought pattern there. There's a lot of people coming out from bot side. is going to reset. Okay. I mean, a team seems to be doing generally pretty well across the board. Got three two top five three jungle four zero mid lane. Let's get some passive stacks. Not the craziest game so far from a Sony perspective. But things can easily change though if 
if Silas dies and our jungler dies quite quickly like here Aatrox is giving a bounty for example so it's like these bounties can catch the enemy team up Been super aggressive towards that mid lane. What made me pick Sona here? Uh, YouTube views. <laughs> Not overly concerned. Oh, I didn't realize we had our own city and all team. Huh, this is all good. I'm gonna run out of mana soon. I can't keep this up a little much longer. That was really weird. I wasn't expecting, obviously, to get my own city in LP. I didn't actually notice what the um, Silas had. Yeah, the Sheridan should help a little bit up against like the uh, the movement speed that they have with the Zillion plus my E. Try and get a little bit of deeper vision in while I can. Very early in him. I don't want to be here. Is a truck strong now? Yeah, he's definitely been popping up a lot more these days. <coughs> I... no, I'm not gonna go there. Or am I? Apparently I am gonna go there. Why am I here? Can you help me out here, buddy? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Do I just run here now? Okay, he flashed. Yeah, I didn't want to be there. It's still a little bit too much. Ghost off of Flowing Water. I like the item overall. And then, um, Baron soon. We can just start going for that, I think. Like Vayne's W damage should be quite good here on Baron.
get jumped in. I'll fight ulti here as well, it's also gonna be spicy. Yeah. I did manage to get my ulti off mashing my R button there. We've got Herald going down bot side here too. Yeah, we're fine. As a team, we're fine. Worth it for us overall. It could have been quite bad though. I think they just focused on people. Like the Malphite ulti on me and uh, the Vayne. If it was maybe 30 minutes into the game. But with the current gold state of like Silas being 10 1, um, Kane being 8 4, like me and Vayne are not the problem for them. It's the rest of the team, and they used the biggest crowd control ulti for. One of the two weakest people, really, so... Yeah. I don't know how I can help the Silas here, but I will try. I'm surprised Rengar just didn't jump me there. Don't drag the game. We'll just do dragon. <laughs> I need actually the vein to take damage here because of the um the stacks for my W. Yeah, you never want to tank the objective as sooner. If it means like it's stop like for example that I need the vein to actually take damage so like I can heal her with W and then my shield also. Oh, that's all me apparently. Well, I was over that. Yeah, in terms of like a Sona game, it wasn't really much to do that one. <coughs> yeah, because it was doing everyone else was doing pretty well. We landed a couple of nice ultis that 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 game, but like we didn't really get the kind of mid to late game mega team fight that I wanted. Teammates doing too well, how dare they? Well on at the side of sure why not. I did more damage than Vayne. Yeah, that's what, I mean, in lane, I was talking about that briefly. Like, the Vayne just felt kind of weird. She wasn't CSing properly. I wonder if she was filled. But I ended up doing more damage than Vayne in a 24 minute game. I don't know, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, um, I think she could have postured more and been a little bit more aggressive and looked to take in some more trades and things like that. She was very, 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 very safe. But then again, she didn't actually have to do anything because our teammates were like doing really well anyway. But if they weren't doing as hot and if she um, played this passive, then it wouldn't have. We would have had to come ahead on lane, uh, ahead in bot lane, and that wouldn't wouldn't have been possible with the way that she was playing. So, just um, something to think about.